Another decade comes and goes. And what a wild ride it was. And yet, I sit here thinking about one thing. How is it possible that we're about to enter an era of hoverboards, self-driving cars, and actual designer babies, but over 40% of small businesses still don't have a website for their small business? As far as I'm concerned, they're a lost cause. If they don't have a website by now, they never will. So I'm going to focus my attention on the rest of you folks, the 60% that do have a website already. You might be thinking that you're set for life with that website of yours, but while I'll certainly give you credit for recognizing the importance of having an online presence for your small business and actually doing something about it, I'm about to tell you why that's wrong and why it's actually time to redesign your website and why 2020 is the perfect time to do it. Three reasons. First, for the first time in history, more people are visiting websites from their phones than computers. The iPhone may have debuted way back in 2007, but it would take over 10 years for mobile website traffic to finally eclipse the well-established desktop experience. In fact, by 2015, mobile devices still only accounted for less than a third of all internet traffic. But as smartphones became more affordable and mobile networks juiced up their download speeds, mobile internet traffic worldwide exploded from 31% to 52% in just two short years. The king is dead. Long live the king. But while fancy stats and pretty graphs are fun to chat about, here's the only question that you really care about. How does this affect me and my business? Great question. If you already have a website for your business, then you're to be commended. Because as I mentioned before, for some reason, 40% of small businesses still haven't bothered to make one yet. However, I'm willing to bet that you had this website made way before 2017. The year mobile officially kicked desktop out of its comfortable spot as king of the castle. Which means that your website was built with a desktop first experience in mind, not mobile. Sure, it's likely still responsive to all devices and serves a passable experience for mobile visitors, but that's no longer good enough. Modern web designers need to build websites through a mobile first lens. The mobile user experience should be your new number one priority. How many potential customers are you losing because your contact us button is too small to easily thumb tap? Your embedded YouTube video is too wide to fit within the phone screen. Your transparent navigation menu overlaps with your header image, making it difficult to see your company's logo. Or your paragraph text is too small to read. Little mistakes like these are simply unacceptable in 2020. The margin for error is too slim to risk irritating your visitors and watching them take off to your competitors. It's time to design your website with mobile as your priority, because one thing is certain, we aren't crawling back to our bulky desktop computers anytime soon. Reason number two, high quality web design has never been more accessible. For years, high quality web design has been an exclusive privilege of the wealthy and well-established businesses of the world. In 2020, the playing field has been leveled. Coding languages like HTML and CSS, while still nice to have, are no longer a necessity. Do-it-yourself website builders like Weebly, Squarespace, and Wix have democratized web design with easy to use drag and drop interfaces, not a single line of code required. They allow small businesses on meager budgets to get an online presence for their small business at incredibly affordable rates. This evolution of modern web design has even made it easier than ever for newbies to learn web design on their own. I myself built a successful web design business without knowing how to write a single line of code. I began with Weebly, then moved on to WordPress as my knowledge and skills improved over time. And if DIYing your website still sounds like too daunting of a task, this overall simplification of the web design industry means that getting a high quality website built by a professional designer 
doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars anymore. Many web design companies even offer new website as a service payment plans. It's essentially subsidized web design, similar to Apple's iPhone upgrade subscription, where you can pay an ongoing monthly fee to always have the latest and greatest iPhone each year. You pay a modest monthly fee to have a beautiful lead generating website that is constantly maintained and updated as web design standards change and evolve. It's a win-win. You get an amazing website that you normally wouldn't be able to afford, and the web design agency gets a consistent, reliable source of monthly income. So, whether you plan on tackling your website redesign yourself or hiring a professional to do it for you, you really have no excuse not to update it for 2020. And finally, the third reason. There is a growing backlash towards social media platforms. Ah yes, the old, I don't need a website because I have Instagram, or Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, excuse. Well, how's that turning out for you these days? Social media platforms have been taking a great deal of heat over the past couple of years, and for good reason. Just take a quick spin on the wheel of social media outrage, and you'll land on things like Facebook destroying organic reach, forcing users to pay to reach their own subscribers, Twitter being accused of simultaneously promoting hate speech and stifling free speech, Instagram removing likes to make it more difficult for influencers to monetize without their involvement, YouTube algorithms consistently surfacing disturbing content to children, and too many other Facebook scandals to count. I could have fit way more than five examples in there, but we don't have all day. Social media can be useful to market your small business, but in the end, it's still a platform that you have zero control over. You are completely at the mercy of Zuckerberg and crew. So if Facebook one day decides that those thousands of subscribers you spent years acquiring are now considered paid reach instead of organic, you have no choice but to play by their rules or quit altogether, which is exactly what they did. Your website is the closest thing to total control you'll ever have. It'll never be 100% control, as long as you have to pay someone to host it and use third-party tools to build it, but it's as close as you're going to get. You dictate the terms, you decide what your visitors' experience will look like, and most important, you reap all the rewards. Rewards like actual customers, not silly little likes and heart emojis. So I've just given you three compelling reasons why 2020 is the perfect year to redesign your website. One, mobile first. Your website needs to be rebuilt with a mobile experience as the number one priority. Two, get a better website at a better price. High quality web design has never been more accessible. And three, take back control. Social media platforms are taking advantage of you and your business. So use these three reasons to redesign your own website and use them to pitch to potential clients on why you should redesign their website for them. Go sell some websites.